Something I've been playing around with recently is importing sports code CSVs into the data visualization application Tableau. Now to show you how you do that, first you've got to export a uh, CSV. So you go to your timeline, you go file, export CSV file. And I've already got one saved to my desktop, so I'm just going to overwrite that one, replace it. And if you open that CSV file, you'll notice it looks like a bit of a crazy Excel folder. So you've got, you know, all your instances on the y-axis so every single instance in your timeline is there so you're going to have like hundreds of them and then all your label groups are on the um, x-axis so it almost looks like a really messy matrix from your sports code timeline however if you import that into tableau now i'm just using tableau public which is the free version um you can't really you can't save anything so you'd have to start over every time you use it but there are versions you can pay for and if I really like this software and start using it more, I'd probably do that. But at the moment, I'm just playing around with it. I'm still very much a beginner, so nothing I'm going to show you is super fancy. So you import your CSV folder into it. And um, you've got all your, essentially that same Excel folder now down below here. So you can't really do much with like fiddling around with the data at the moment. So you go to sheet one. Now the example I'm going to use here is I'm going to essentially show you a high state offenses um, shot type chart and see which of those shot types were contested and which ones were uncontested. So I've got all my label groups down here to the left on this Y axis looking thing. Now the problem with <coughs> importing sports code CSVs into Tableau is that Tableau is really built for businesses and commerce and things like that. So a lot of the examples they use when you're learning this software is things like profit and revenue and items sold and things like that, which is good for them. However, a lot of those are numbers. And when you import a sports code CSV, a lot of your label groups aren't numbers. Even things like my quarters are like quarter one, quarter two, like there's words in them. So they, so the software interprets everything as like a word or a string instead of just as a number. So you've got to kind of play around with the data to get what you want. So I'm going to start off with my timeline count because that's the only thing that's really a number um, in my sports code CSV. It's just like the basic count of instances and labels in that sports, um, in that sports code CSV. And from there, I can start playing with stuff. So I've got to import my rows, and which I can put the filter up for by showing the filter. I'm just going to select the Ohio State offense. And then I can double click in the shot type. So these are all my shot types per Ohio State offense. So already I can start seeing, I want to exclude the null, because those are going to be things like from fouls or turnovers, so things that didn't include a shot. So already I can see like the different distribution of shot types within my offense. So I can see that we did a lot of drives, some catch and shoot threes, some off the dribble shots. Then if I double click shot quality, I can see how that works now more. Um, I can see which ones were contested and which ones were uncontested. Then you've got to somehow figure out how to like play around with the data and get it really um, to the point that you like. I'm still trying to figure out how to use this software a lot of the time, but you can start playing around with it and you can change the colors over here. So I can go from like the contested to be, the contested can be red and the uncontested can be green. So I can kind of, that makes more sense. But what I really want is like the shot quality to be on the same thing as that. There we go. So there you go. Now there's a good graph of my Ohio State offense from different shot types, comparing which ones are contested and which ones are uncontested. So you could show a coach at the end of the season, one game's not a great sample size, which this is, but this would be a great end of season or mid season review tool to show players like an aesthetically pleasing way of demonstrating the data. So for example, you can say like off the catch and shoot threes, we took nine that were contested, you know, we took three that are uncontested, but obviously on a bigger sample size, you have more data and things like that. The only downside for using Tableau is that there's no video integration. So I can't click anything with that video coming up as you could in something that's a native sports code output window. So I'd always prefer native sports code output windows because one, you can actually get more data because you can kind of filter even more labels, but also because you can actually press those buttons and get that video showing like straight away. But as I said, just for like an end of season review or you're just showing player stats, this is actually a really good tool because it's really aesthetically pleasing. And it's really obvious what you're trying to demonstrate. So that's what I've got so far. As I said, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning. I'm not the greatest with this sort of data visualization software just yet. I know there's other products out there like Data Studio from um, Google and there's another like Microsoft product that I think is coming up in the, in the works and things like that. But 
This is what I'm playing around with right now. So if you have any questions, my email's in the description below. And um, I'll even put the like download, I'll put even put the URL to the download link for Tableau Public down there as well. Thank you very much and I hope you learned something.